Hello, and thanks for taking time out of your day to join us. My name is Ben Johnson. I'm the Vice President of General Automotive Markets at Repairify. And we're here today to talk about an exciting new product that we're jointly bringing to the market with Napa. You know, I've been in this business for a long time. It's pretty rare that a technology comes along at exactly the right time that it's needed. This is one of those times, and we couldn't be more proud to partner with Napa to bring this to the mechanical repair industry. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about Repairify, and then about Aztec, and then about, of course, the product and what it can do for our shops together. Repairify is a company that was formed with a mission basically to make automobile repairs simple, even as the vehicles are becoming more complex. We do that by leveraging OEM tools and remote access to those tools and to technicians that know how to operate them, bringing that functionality into the shop at the consumer level. This enables us to support repair shops in a seamless, efficient manner in a pay-as-you-go model so that there's no expensive upfront investments and you can kind of pass those costs on to your customers as you use the services. We're based in Plano, Texas, but we have a global footprint, and we've added a number of brands to our portfolio over the years, starting out with Aztec, which we're going to really focus on today. That's our biggest and most prominent brand. Aztec is the industry's undisputed leader in remote access to OE tools, performing calibrations, uh, ECU reprogramming, and health check pre and post scans, and things like that. So with a footprint like I've talked about, and with the functionality that I'm talking about, you might be wondering why you haven't heard of us before. Well, the reality is, is that we've been focused for the last 15 years on the collision industry, helping to make them more efficient in their repairs. As you can imagine, the collision industry has always been behind the mechanical uh, space as far as complex electronics diagnostics and uh, use, use of diagnostic scan tools and things like that. So it was a natural first step for us as we started our journey, especially with OE mandated and many times insurance mandated pre and post repair scans, health checks, and then of course the calibrations and things that come along with the repairs. It was a natural first step for us. The journey through the collision space has allowed us to grow in this country and others for the last 15 years. It's just natural that now we bring that into the mechanical space. We have literally performed millions of remote access scans in thousands of shops around the world. With that background, as you consider the mechanical space, it's kind of natural to expand into this world. The vehicles that we drive now are rolling remote offices, gaming centers, and more, most of that fueled by the sophisticated technology and software that's found on today's vehicles. While the modern vehicle continues to evolve in complexity, what hasn't changed is the consumer's expectation of us, right? I don't know of an industry anywhere that can service uh, the most complex consumer electronics device found in the way that we can. Most times we can get a car back to a consumer the same day you can't get that kind of service on a TV set or a refrigerator or a washing machine. This chart that we're looking at, it was done by the Auto Care Association and participation with P10, a Professional Tool and Equipment Network, and it talks about how the shop's services have changed between 2022 and 2023. And as you notice, the percentages, the things that we would consider basic, like brakes, performance diagnosis, tech, uh, testing, things like that, have increased uh, even in the last few years as the engines continue to become more efficient and more emissions uh, regulated. You add to that, almost 50% of the shops are doing some level of ECU reprogramming and calibration. And even though they're, they're lower on the market, ADOS calibrations, hybrid and EV services have roughly doubled in the last year. As we think about it, the fact is that electrification continues to just exponentially grow in the vehicle. It's not just about EVs, it's about electronic HVAC, electronic power steering, electronic, as I talked about, infotainment systems like gaming and things like that. The reality is that the aftermarket diagnostic companies have had a hard time keeping up with this explosion of electronics on the vehicle. Another survey that was done by AutoCare and Hanover Research, and as well as Babcock's recently, so that most shops say that over 20% of the time, they end up needing an OE level diagnostic scan tool to finish a repair once they've started it on a vehicle. And when you think about the OE scan tools that you need, if you're an all make shop like most of us are, the cost of trying to outfit a shop with all those types of technologies is prohibitive. And what people kind of overlook sometimes is it's not only the access to the tool, it's the access to somebody that knows how to use it. These tools all operate differently. One of the nice things about an aftermarket tool is you learn that tool and you can work on any car that it supports. But if you're looking at 
a Toyota and then a Subaru and then a GM product or a Ford product, all those tools operate differently and navigating them is, is a different experience. In fact, a lot of shops talk about sending one to five vehicles either to a dealership or getting those repaired by a mobile technician um, instead of leaving that repair in shop. Our patented solutions can link tools from launch or hotel to our vast stack of OE tools which are housed remotely and the technicians that know how to operate them. So running an OE tool to run a, a diagnostic, maybe a, a feature that your aftermarket tool doesn't support or uh, something like that is now just a click away. Remote OEM programming can be done with the OE tool, with the technician that knows how to do the program in just a few moments. Calibrations, dynamic calibrations, just setting the tool up to perform the drive cycles that are necessary and things like that, we can support remotely using that OE process to do it. Static calibrations, even if you have a fixture, we'll show you some films on how to do this. Uh, we can help you make sure that those things are calibrated properly and so that you can send that vehicle back out on the road confidently. And one thing that we're really known for is if you follow our processes, you do what we ask you to do, and if something goes wrong, we'll help cover that. So with that, I hope you're as excited as I am to share this technology with you. I'm gonna stop talking for a few minutes and turn this over to Chris Chesney, who's gonna walk us through a couple of examples of how this technology works.